Welcome to Living Alabama, y'all. We are about to go fishing. Y'all stay tuned, let's see what we catch. Y'all took this jug out on a kayak. Hold on. Got enough time. It may not be big enough. Better break them up with playing around. My brother can use about 30 of these. Uh, my brother can use about 30 of these next time. At the same time? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That side right there. We'll I know he was hitting it mighty fast. Look, look, blue cat. I'm gonna let him go back. Yep, it is what it is. Live in Alabama, baby. <laughs> I flat missed it. I may have to put a little piece, heavier piece of lead on there. My dad was supposed to have been coming up here. He didn't show up. I don't know what happened. He had to go pick my niece up. But he got the cast net. He was supposed to brought the cast net when he came. Now, however, I got to go down here and try to come one of these guys and get some shafts. I'll show y'all a clip of that when I get back. He hit it a couple of times. Chewed the back of his tail off. See that? You know, we'd just take it though.
Y'all look at this. Trash. Can't never have nothing because everybody want to leave their trash. All you got to do is take it with you. If everybody took their trash with you, we wouldn't have this problem. Look at that.
got another one. All right, y'all, this is going to end the video. We headed home right now. We're going to take these fish. We're going to clean. All right, here we go. Upside down, we're gonna use that. Show you what that's gonna come in handy. Yeah. Grand total of five. Five, five, five. We're gonna get that out of the way. Catfish man gonna be out here in a minute. Y'all just keep your eyes on watching. Yeah, baby. He's sent for What you doing? 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 Hey, say, tell everybody, hey, Kelly. Hi. Who's everybody? It ain't on. You want the bet? Oh. Hi. Oh, wait, I supposed to go in the front? Oh. No, you're on the wrong side. So oh. Right. <laughs> Hi. Purity headache right there, boy. I'm telling you, they are something serious. Gotta love them. Only thing about it. That's just two of them. There's another one in the house. She'd go get them. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we get set up to clean these fish. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Here we go. We're going to make this quick and simple. When I'm cleaning fish, I always start off with my smaller one first. I never start off with my big ones. Cut them around the neck. There's a little piece of skin right there. These skinners are wore out. Catfish man didn't need a numb on them. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that. Most of the time, I, um, skin all my fish. And then I go back and gut them. But in this scenario, it's not that many. We're gonna wanna knock this out. Get done with it. Pretty sharp. You're gonna see how sharp it is. 
Now, this is it's two ways you can do this. You can fillet this fish out the hide and not without skinning them. I don't do that sometimes, sometimes I do. God. That jelly, hit him twice around the neck, pop that little back fan off, go to snatch him. Main thing about it is, I'm at home. Yep, people, I am. Yeah, I'd rather square bell hate and clean fish sometimes. A little bit of piece of skin right there. Got him. I don't fish much because I always got something to do. But my brother, who y'all haven't met yet. Hopefully y'all will get to see him here for a long. He fish all the time. And make crappie jigs. We're gonna fillet this big baby right here. He's not that big, but we still gonna fillet him. I ain't got my rock. I don't have my rock out here. I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, now I'm gonna hold up to it or not, but we're gonna give him a whirl. I see a lot of folks on YouTube trying to grab a catfish like this. Grabbing a catfish like this, you're gonna get thin, especially a little old bit of one. When you grab that catfish and he's coming up, grab that catfish behind his fins because he can't swing his head. If you grab him in his body, he can still swing his body and fend you. And a little one, nine times out of 10, if you grab him like that, you can consider yourself as fend. If you notice, a lot of folks cut them fins off. I don't cut them off because I use them for a handle. I don't cut them off till I'm done with him. When I test it, when I de-head him, them fins come off.
Get them bone. I'm gonna take that meat. I'm gonna lay it down there. And I guarantee you, you won't have no bones in. Here. Guarantee you. Now, at doing this, I take the hats off to my brother. Look at that. Let me show y'all something. You can just by reading the fine print of a newspaper through it. But, we're going to fry that baby anyway. Now, we have... This right here. Wanna cut that off? Watch out to Oh no, that's terrible. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all, it's going to get too late for me to cook this fish tonight. I promise y'all. I do this again. I promise you. A lot of folks take the that's nothing but water. Wash the pan out. A lot of folks take the cut the tails off. You cut the tail off around here. You might be cut off. All right, job over with. Thank y'all for watching Living Alabama. We out of here.